Here are some fun facts about tequila. Tequila owes its name to the Aztec language. The word tequila comes from an ancient Nautil word, Tilicuan, which means place of tribute or possibly place of work. Did you know it was regulated by geographical designation? Yes, there are strictly five regions in Mexico where tequila can be made. Guanajuato, Oaxaca, Nayarit, Tampoligas, and Jalisco. The majority of the country's tequila production is concentrated in the state of Jalisco, which is the country's top tequila producer by a wide margin. Can, do you know? Tequila is a plant-based drink. Yes, all you vegans can drink tequila. To be considered tequila, a drink must have at least 51% made from blue agave, with the rest coming from another neutral spirit. Numerous brands nowadays stepped up their game and are using 100% blue agave. On the other hand, tequilas produced with a lesser percentage of agave are usually cheaper. It takes really hard work to produce an agave plant to make your precious tequila. All the agave tequila Weber, or simply blue agave plant, takes 8 to 12 years to mature and can grow as tall as 7 feet before it's ready to harvest. So you better be willing to wait for that tequila. And in tequila production, the agave's heart is the only part used. Yes, out of this huge agave plant, they only use the heart. The agave's plant pinas or hearts are extracted, roasted, crushed, and fermented to make tequila. Unlike fruit-based drinks like wine, which can be harvested and regrown from the same plant, agave plants must be grown from scratch after ha harvesting. So if you're wondering why your agave or tequila is so damn expensive, that's why. There are three categories of tequila. Real tequila is distinguished by its age and distillation process. This is divided into three categories. Blanco, Reposito, and Anejo. Blanco, or silver tequilas, are based form of all tequila. It is undiluted and unaged for the most part. Reposito tequilas are rusted in oak barrels for two months up to a year, while Anejos are aged up to one to three years. So tell me, what type of tequila do you like? Have you ever had Patron? Stay tuned for more!